Take any field of consumer products as an example. There will be a whole bunch of companies making affordable products that everyone can buy and then there will be a few group of elite companies that are making ultra premium products that only enthusiasts with deep pockets can purchase. And in the world of VR, Vario is that company. Yep, Vario is how you pronounce their name. Extended and virtual reality is their game. They say that their goal is to move from a simulated experience to a real experience, or at least as close as possible. Well, hyper-realistic graphics have been a popular thing for a while now. I mean, have you seen the demo for the latest Matrix game? The Unreal Engine 5 takes it to a crazy new level. If you want me to make a dedicated video on Unreal Engine 5, let me know. But Vario wants to do the same thing with their headsets. They have two new flagship models, namely the XR3 and the VR3. As you may have guessed, XR3 is for extended reality, meaning that it uses cameras to put virtual objects in your real space around you. They say that it has a display close to human eye resolution and has a 115 degree field of view. It has LiDAR for depth sensing and has real-time eye tracking up to 200 Hz. They say that this is the most realistic experience you can get for simulating a training for field personnel, like pilots or emergency responders. Leading graphics companies around the world like Unity have already started using Vario headsets to get a sense of their mixed reality concepts for a game development. The team behind Unreal Engine have endorsed this product as well. Well, no surprises there, they love hyper-realism. Their VR headset, called the VR3, also has the same built-in eye tracking and hand tracking features. But of course it doesn't have any cameras to surround your nearby environment inside the simulation. Just like the XR3, the VR3 is compatible with most 3D software that you use like Unity, Unreal Engine, Autodesk Red, Steam VR, and more. But remember I said these guys are the absolute elite in the industry? Yeah, let's talk about prices. As of now, they only work with organizations for their XR3 and VR3 headsets, but for individuals, their rather lower end Aero headset is available for a whopping 2000 US dollars. Yeah. Two grand for the base model headset that they are saying professional VR for all. Yeah, okay. The VR3 goes for about 3,395 euros, which is like 3,800 US dollars. And the big boy XR3 goes for about 5,995 euros, which is 6,700 US dollars. But based on the price that I saw for the Aero, it was the same in euros and dollars. So maybe from the USD perspective, it may be a little more affordable compared to euros. You know, just like how Apple sold the iPhone 10 for 999 USD and 999 pounds, even though pounds is stronger than the dollar. I mean, even if you had that kind of money to burn, you will kind of have to be an organization to get one. I don't think you can order it one on one unless you talk to their sales. I mean, hey, money talks. If you do the right negotiations, I'm sure you can get it for fun. But it's not really meant to be used as a casual entertainment device. But yeah, that's how it is with the premium segment. These are top dogs and they don't mess around. So there you have it. That's the Vario series of headsets. These are the top of the industry unless Elon Musk gets bored on a Sunday and decides to make his own version. The Ultra XR or whatever. I mean, even if he makes one, it'll probably be delayed for two years anyways. So yeah. I want to know what's your experience like with VR or XR headsets. Have you tried any? Let me know in the comments. If you are like the rest of us and you can't afford this headset, then feel free to join our Discord. Link is in the description.